health on the back burner, missing family events, and going without sleep was worth it? Look around today. This rally, these crowds are a sign that you are worth fighting for and that what you are doing matters. Great. But you are also human and you should not have to sacrifice your health and your happiness in order to care for your patients. You do not have to work for free. You are not just a GP. Hold your heads high and stand alongside the public of BC as they fight for the right to have a family physician who cares for them. Our hands are so incredibly privileged to be the first to hold new life when a baby is born and to hold the hands of the dying as they take their last breath. You dedicated your life to this work and hopefully today is proof that your dedication is not in vain. A new future for sustainable family medicine in BC is achievable. We can all work together to find solutions to recruit and retain family doctors to keep all of us in community practice caring for British Columbians. To, to the patients of British Columbia, and now I am speaking to everyone here, because everyone, doctors, public, media, and politicians alike, will one day, sooner or later, find themselves patients in need of care. You deserve a family doctor. Whether you are here today and you have a family doctor you fear may close their practice, or you are one of the many without a family physician, Everyone deserves equal access to someone who will specialize in them, their family, and their health. You deserve a physician who will invest in a longitudinal relationship with you, who knows your past and will get to know your dreams for the future, who understands your worries and your health care needs, someone with whom you can share mutual trust and respect. A family doctor who will reassure new parents as they worry if their baby is eating enough. Who will walk with teens and their parents through years of finding new identity. Who will help you navigate the terror of a cancer diagnosis or the overwhelming questions of chronic disease. And then support your loved ones and shepherd you as you approach your final breath. Family doctors will coach you to better health, to be your best self in life, and they will comfort you and cry with you in times of sorrow and death. They will celebrate with you in times of joy and when you rise above disease and setbacks. From cradle to grave, you deserve a trusted family doctor who will care for you and walk alongside you in every step of your journey. To every person here today, to all your friends, loved ones, and family members, to every single person in BC, you deserve a family doctor, just as everyone deserves a family doctor. Right. Well done. Well done. Yes, that was great. Dr. Lush, thank you. Extraordinary. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for all of the advocacy and all of the um, commentary you've done on behalf of this issue. Now I'd like to introduce to you Dr. Adrian Yi, a Victoria hematologist. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to speak. Uh, on the Family Doctors' Days in BC. I'm grateful for Camille's leadership. Can you please join me to give Camille and Dr. Lush a, an applause?
I'm grateful for them to advocate for equitable access to health care. It is an honor for me to be here. My name is Adrian Yi. I am a hematologist. It is a privilege for me to be on the unceded and traditional territories of the Songhe, White Saanich, and Esquimalt. I've been in practice for 17 years. I'm passionate about equity, diversity, inclusion in healthcare. When I was in high school, I read a book about Tommy Douglas, and I can tell you that he is nice. one of my heroes. Nice. Awesome. I'm going to start with a quote from Tommy Douglas. Let us not forget that the ultimate goal of Medicare must be to keep people well, right. rather than just patching them up when they get sick. I don't think we should forget that. Great. This is why we have a system that works for people. The current government promises us that they will improve the system so we will have timely access to health care when we are sick. They promise us that they will prioritize team-based primary care and provide dignified care to seniors. That was what I read on the mandate letter to Minister Dix. I would argue that they have not delivered on both promises. That's right. The reality... Shame. The reality is one in five British Columbians do not have a family doctor. And the situation continues to deteriorate day the liberals, after day after day after day. And BC liberals. Many of my patients tell me that, and I quote, my family doctor retired a few years ago, and I cannot get into the urgent care clinic to see anyone when I am sick. Shame. This is terrible. And we have to learn how do we come to this point. People cannot access essential, primary care in our communities. Walk-in clinic and urgent primary care clinic are not the solution. Yeah, and that's thanks to the Liberals for years of privatization. Thank you, Liberals, for that. They do not provide continuity of care. Every time you go in, you see a different clinician and you have to repeat the same story over and over again. Yeah, it's horrible. And they have no idea who you are, what's your preference, and what are your goals. Absolutely. That's right. Every time you start from point number zero again. It's harsh, man. If you cannot seek care at urgent care, you could only go to the emergency room. You will soon hear from my colleague Simon about the emergency health services and what are the challenges that we have. When I look at the data, the average wait time for emergency room now in British Columbia is eight hours. Oh my. Whether that could be adult or could be pediatric. Shame. 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 If you try to access the urgent primary 